Hi, this is Barbara Fischer from the National Library of Germany speaking. We call our project um, the GND meets Wikibase. And uh, if you turn to the next slide, you will find out what all the abbreviations um, mean. So, uh, um, yeah, the GND is the integrated authority file and means German uh, Gemeinsame Nomdatei, which could be translated as well as the uh, common authority file because we have free, um, a free structured authority database called the GND. And we would like to make it even more accessible and more interoperable than it is right now. Because right now the integrated authority file is hosted as many authority files within libraries um, in um, proprietarian software, which uh, means that you have to register. Um, if you go to the second slide, you will see like uh, we are testing Wikibase for um, for two purposes. Both um, we would like to use Wikibase as an instance for our authority files itself, but we also like to test Wikibase as a toolkit for regulations. As you can imagine, if you create an authority file, that means um, you are talking about standards and standards don't work if you don't have rules. And uh, those regulations as we have to interact with other libraries uh, beyond national borders as well. They're all um, integrated in a larger field of international regulations. And for now, all these rules and regulations and helps how to edit uh, an authority record are based mainly in, um, in string texts. And we're now aiming to use Wikibase as a database where we can actually um, put the properties that are ne necessary in order to define an item of a certain category um, in the database and thus make it easier to, um, uh, if we change something in the rules due to adding new communities to our authority files, then uh, we only have to change it in one spot and not in many spots, which was originally also the idea of Wikidata, right? If you change one thing in one Wikipedia language, um, you didn't want to have to manually change it in all the other Wikipedia languages, but changing it one, one spot in Wikidata and then it will change in all the language editions of Wikipedia. So. Those are like the, the two ideas uh, we are um, looking for um, at Wikibase. And if you go to the next slide. Oops. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a brief um, definition. What is the uh, Gemeinsame Norm that time? Um, the integrated authority file is um, mainly used by library, but libraries, but uh, increasingly also by cultural heritage institutions. And this is the fact in uh, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Right now, we still have 60 million identifiers referring to persons, which means both persons and their names. Corporate bodies, conferences, um, geographical names, subject headings, and works. If I say we have right now 60 million identifiers, we are reducing that number um, heavily uh, to about half. Um, and this is because we have decided to uh, take out all those records that simply contain the names of persons and no further information on that. So uh, we are, we are um, rectifying a little bit our integrated authority file to make it more precise and more interoperable. Um, as Wikibase or Wikidata, um, also the GND is um, run cooperatively by GND agencies, we call them, which means there are active users in about a thousand institutions. And uh, when Georgina mentioned there were about, was it 45,000 um, community members of uh, Wikidata, I was thinking how many uh, work workers or employees would these a thousand institutions have? Probably we will not come up to the same amount of people, but 
quite a few people are working with the GND and the community is enlarging, which is also one of the reasons why we are looking at Wikibase. Our integrated authority file already by now is uh, open data, so it's licensed under CC0, which makes it easier for us to cooperate with Wikidata. We do link to Wikidata and Wikipedia already by now. Of course, we have different um, APIs and a documentation how to use those a APIs. So when you want to um, go for a dump of the GND or a selection, of the GND, you will find in our documentation how to do so. Right now, or since um, 2017, we took the decision to open up um, to the GLAM field, meaning galleries, libraries, of course, archives and museums, science institutions, and even other institutions such as administrations um, or institutes that are <sighs> Um, well, related, let's say, to, uh, to the humanity fields in one way or another. In order to make that tool, which authority files are meant for, uh, for librarians to make it easier as a cross-domain tool for um, organizations. So that means we will have to transfer our governance structure at the moment. Uh, which is very based or, or focused on libraries in order to make it more accessible for museums and archives we will have to alter the structure we also have to alter a little bit our data model um, we found in our research project um, that our data model is already pretty much suitable for other um, GLAM institutions but we still have to alter it a little bit we certainly have to alter our infrastructure. As I said, the software we use right now in order to edit um, the GND is not as accessible and it is not so, uh, the interface, um, the usability is not as smooth as uh, it would have to be in order to make it more accessible to others. So we have to change that. And we also have to change um, on the level when you have to, when you like to find out if your data is uh, federal is going to be federated with the GND, uh, you would need to have like a not just a discovery tool but also a matching tool. And so we are building on that matching tool at the moment. And we hope that using Wikibase as a second home for um, the GND, it will be easier to do that in the future. And we also work on, on right now on community building. So actually we are in a pretty much the same situation as Wikimedia for Wikibase, and which is probably one of the reasons why we are cooperating in such a um, friendly way. Next slide, please. Yeah, we have heard already by Georgina and um, Jens a little bit on, on Wikibase itself. Um, what I would like to stress in the moment is um, that it is, of course, very much focusing still on the needs uh, of Wikidata. And, um, and then it is about, as we heard from Jens and Georgina as well, it is about to become a standard, more standardized product. Next slide. Yeah, we are running our evaluation or proof of concept in two parts. The part one was um, the proof of concept where we uh, checked last year whether Wikibase would um, meet our basic requirements. And this year we are more focusing on testing the capacity of um, Wikibase. And I feel that now it's time for Sarah to step in. Sarah is my I do my believe colleague. this. There's another oh, slide. Still a, still a slide. To yeah, me. left probably. This one. Oh yeah. Actually, those like... were, were the questions we asked for ourselves um, within uh, 2019. So we thought, um, does it like Wikibase is promising that it is a collaborative product um, um, software as Wikidata is, but does it really? Um, does it really fulfill its promises? And um, so um, 
would it be possible to add it in a collaborative way, our authority data, which is not only the question of can you um, can you easy like um, start to edit an item, but it's also um, very much can we rule out our access uh, uh, assessment management and um, like we have different roles um, of people that are editing our authority file, referring to the level of their uh, training, for instance, and if we could somehow um, reflect that in the Wikibase instance, and we found, yeah, this this would be possible because also Wikidata is knowing many different rules uh, roles of of people editing Wikidata, and they have different rights, and so uh, this is apl applicable to um, our authority file in Wikibase as well. Then we checked if we consider that Wikibase is actually increasing the usability in comparison to the software that is in use. Uh, yeah, it does. And um, if Wikibase is making linkage to other authority data um, in structured databases instances more easy, that was another question we asked. And now I think it's Sarah coming up with more details in, uh, in that. And I'll be back with you. Uh, later on, and I'll check the um, the chat if there are any questions, um, and we will answer them in the end if you are okay with that. Yeah, thanks. So I'd just like to give you a quick insight. What have we what have we done so far in this uh, proof of concept? Um, first of all, we installed. Um, three G and D wiki base instances by using Linux and Docker. Uh, and Docker Compose. Um, the first one is for the test um, for the data modeling, which uh, represents the actual GND, or uh, sometimes I refer to that as the status quo GND. Uh, and in this instance, we also import existing um, GND data. The second instance we installed is just for testing purposes, a so called test system for the data modeling and import issues. And the Third one was for the testing of the data modeling concerning all the you know, requirements which come up um, from the mostly from the um, archives and museums in order to fulfill the requirements for an opened up uh, GND. And we refer to that one on the slide before, like the GND 2.0, as we sometimes call it. Yeah, um, what we've done next is um, as um, Jens and Georgina mentioned it comes uh, naked and um, what we've done next is to define and create properties um, by hand um, for the representation of the GND status quo in this instance and added content um, via quick statements but I will come back to that in a few in a few minutes. Um, we have to say that we um, sticked um, to our ex existing um, data model and um, the format wherever possible and where it was reasonable um, because we have in mind to um, export and import uh, the data and export the data established in the Wikibase instance and synchronize it with our um, current um, system. So it's, as Barbara said, it's kind of a second home for the GND at the moment. Um, so we define properties um, for descriptive metadata for the different kinds of entities which are part of the um, GND, such as person, corporate bodies, conferences, works, and subjects, and um, some properties for administrative metadata which are necessary for um, some workflow issues we have in uh, the in the in the GND. And we also included mappings to uh, GND fields um, uh, from our internal format called Peaker and the export format called Mark21. And as I saw in the chat, there was a question regarding the RDA properties. We also included uh, mappings to RDA properties um, where it was really easy to do a same as relationship and to the GND ontology, which is the linked uh, data representation um, of the GND. Next slide, please.
Yeah, and in, in order to test uh, this uh, data model or the data models, we just created items um, uh, within the Wikibase instance. And we also included um, items um, for controlled vocabs uh, we use. Uh, this means um, we use these controlled vocabs or values for properties um, for the uh, for properties which the object metadata type is um, item, as Georgina referred to, I think. Yeah, uh, next slide, please. Yeah, as Barbara already mentioned, we had a closer look at um, the documentation issue and we still test um, this kind of stuff if it's possible or easy um, or if Wikibase is suitable for the documentation and the curation of the data model and um, the rules and the maintenance of um, other vocabs which are associated um, with GND vocabulary. And then, um, as I already said, um, there was a, a pinpoint to import existing GND data within the Wikibase instance, and we have done so um, for a test set of approximately 90,000 records. And Therefore, it was uh, necessary to do a conceptual model first. Uh, so we tested two different mappings, one based on Mark um, 21 and the other one based on our internal format in order to check um, what's best for mapping the data and the requirements for import and export um, purposes. And it hasn't fully finished yet, uh, this testing, but um, we can say at the moment that the internal format is much easier to map. But on the other end, um, we can't really share our mappings with the wider community and discuss the data model or the mapping, so to speak, if no one understands this kind of fields and subfields and stuff, or not all of, of the community. Yeah, we also had a closer look at the user and rights, manage, uh, rights management within Wikibase and had a closer look at the Wikidata ro roles um, on a more, I would say, conceptual level, and if it's possible to rebuild all the roles we have um, and the user restrictions and access restrictions we have in the GND in uh, Wikibase. Uh, next slide, please. So concerning um, the import um, of the data, our first approach was to use uh, this tool called um, Quick Statements from Wikibase. And uh, the second approach was to use a Python script. Uh, that means we uh, read um, GND data uh, via PyMark and then um, write it with a tool which is called Wikidata Integrator or short WDI. Um, um, next slide, please. And the approach um, concerning um, quick statement, quick statement, sorry, took longer than with uh, the one with WDI. It was a speed up of, of about 44%, which uh, was um, really cool because um, quick statements was really, really slow for such amount of um, data. Um, so if we use um, Wikidata integrator for the import of the complete uh, GND, um, which are approximately 8 million records right now. This will take around about 15 days for the initial import right. um, of the GND. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Concerning the, um, the import of the uh, complete um, GND, we also had to think about a plan. Uh, for the import because um, the GND data is uh, linked already. Um, this means uh, GND records have links to other GND records. For example, um, when stating an affiliation or a place of establishment, for example, this is done by an identifier, by a GND identifier or, or a link, so to speak, um, to another GND record for, um, let's say, a uh, corporate body or place. So. We don't want to lose uh, this information. And so we come up with a plan to create initial items, the QIDs uh, for GND IDs, and then do a Sparkle output or another output um, for uh, um, the mapping of the QIDs and GND IDs, because within um, Wikibase, uh, the links um, 
uh, are established via the QIDs. And um, then we have to add statements to these established items by um, using the values of the QIDs. Yeah, next slide, please. Yeah, the learnings um, from this proof of concept, as Barbara already said, um, Wikibase is used uh, primarily for Wikidata at the moment or for the creation of new databases um, so far. And this means that uh, the import of existing and interlinked uh, data requires some time and effort as we <laughs> saw on the last slides. Um, but, uh, Everything concerning the data modeling and the creation of the data is really, really easy within um, Wikibase. Um, another learning was that uh, we do have to test uh, further um, th for the import and export purposes. Uh, we do have, uh, we have to test more in order to have an ideal solution for the, the import stuff. Yes, and the last uh, point is, um, even if I just said the creation of the data is really, really easy, uh, that was for <laughs> the ones who are very familiar with the existing data model or the one we established within um, Wikibase. But if you just, um, just uh, give this instance uh, to uh, GND users, existing ones or even new ones, um, we came up uh, with the idea that an editing template, and that's not quite a new idea within Wikibase, but we do have this in our current uh, in our current systems, which I use. There are editing templates for the ones who create data and update data, and um, the creation of these editing templates is more complex uh, than expected, and you do have some. Uh, you have to have some uh, programming skills uh, to do so. Yeah, next slide. I think it's your part then, Barbara. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, well, as you can see, as you heard from Sarah, we are pretty content with Wikibase um, in, in, in basic. Like we, we really believe in Wikibase and which is the reason why we keep on working with it. Um, and we also will um, establish now a, a, a contract with the uh, an external um, agency of software um, developers in order to make it faster, moving faster uh, forward um, in our um, task we are aiming for this this year. Uh, despite that the, we are already in September, uh, Sarah and I, we have promised to each other that we will manage to somehow make it happen that the GND in the end of the year will be completely with its 8 million items and their relations in the fresh install Wikibase instance. Um, so the, we, we will have to improve both um, our um, import um, um, workflows um, and, um, and to, make, to make this really happen. And there we are tightly working together with Wikimedia Deutschland in order to get help where, where it is needed. Um, what we also work on is, as we said now several times, we're not planning to replace uh, our GND where it is hosted right now in that software because that software is not only uh, in use for the GND, but it's also for our cataloging. It is also for our uh, the, the user services. So it's a whole system that is needed to administrate um, our library and uh, cooperate with the other libraries within um, Germany, Switzerland and, and Austria. So we will keep that GND in our original master base in the CBS. But then of course we need to synchronize um, what what is done in the GND and what is done in our uh, Wikibase instance. We, I will give you a slide, um, next slide on that. What we're also uh, working on this, um, this year is to um, gather together all the requirements of user interfaces. Sarah has mentioned it. Um, when we aim to invite people that work in museums and archives there, of course, they are not trained as librarians, so they are not familiar with the uh, 
um, interfaces we are using right now. So we want to make it easier. We have by now um, one um, web formula uh, for personas um, that also works for corporate bodies. But um, I mean, I told you we have also geographical um, names, we have work titles, we have um, um, uh, keywords. Um, so uh, for all those, we will need interfaces that makes it easy for an editor to know, okay, which are the properties I really have to fill in in order to make it an authority file? Because an authority file is only an authority file when it is pointing to that entity and only to that entity that is meant to be pointed at. So we don't want to have a Peter Miller uh, as a record that is then pointing to many different Peter Millers. We only want to point to that Peter Miller that we actually um, mean. So we will have to um, make sure that you will add as well, if known, his birthday um, or maybe when, when he died, or if that is not enough, you will have to add as well where he was born or, um, or um, what kind of profession he would have. So giving those properties that help us to disambiguate the one Peter Miller from all the other Peter Millers will um, then make this user interface for a person, for instance. And we will uh, be more specific about our user roles and the access management in order to really assure that the GMD remains as reliable as it is for now. And that is also required for an authority file because um, um, one of the main USP of, of uh, authority file is that it is reliable. And this by now is guaranteed by the institutions collaborating. So we will have to make sure that those institutions are registered as institutions. So it's not um, an individual editing, but it's always an institution that is backing that individual editing and um, is guaranteeing that also in five years that record is still actual and that record is still worked upon and if it needs to be altered this is done. If you go to the next slide Peter you can see like a, a rough drawing a rough skiss on how we plan to uh, make this synchronization happen. So the idea is on the right hand side you see that um, Wikibase instance and here um, the community is able to um, transfer new data into it, modify records um, and make suggestions for new records. And then this is um, um, transferred to our GND master as suggestions. And there it's going to be a, a workflow that um, certifies if, if that suggestion is improved. And then it is added to the master. And then of course, we need to have a workflow that transfers those new GND entities uh, or items back into the Wikibase instance. How this actually is going to work um, when, when we talk about um, um, the, the coding behind it, uh, I can't tell you yet. We're still working on that. Um, let's go to the next slide, Dieter, please. So, um, uh, the second part that we are working on is the documentation and actually we are focusing much more on that documentation right now uh, than on the uh, on the other part um, because um, as apparently some of the persons that are participating in this talk um, the they may know that the RDA is um, facing a new edition and this means that a lot of libraries across the world have to alter their documentation. And this um, lent us or mm, yeah, this, this meant for us in, at the German National Library, but also in the GND cooperative that we 
said, okay, this is an, um, a moment where we could possibly start to think together to get to gather all the different documentation that is there both for cataloging and for the authority files to have that in a, a center database in a, in a platform that you will find all the different regulations and rules in one platform and then we thought well why wouldn't we play uh, place um, the information that now is based in, in long documents. What if we try to transform it into structured data and uh, use Wikibase at, as the database where we will place that structured data. So this is, um, this is both interesting uh, from the viewpoint of the capacity of Wikibase in, 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 in that aspect. Um, but it is also interesting uh, for, um, for other national libraries in order to see, okay, um, if, if you then, you don't like, um, you wouldn't have the, the toolkit system as we use it right now, where you have to look up as a human, um, whether you are editing in the right way or not, but you will have a structured database that will provide more or less automatically, these are our dreams, um, the interface that you will need in order to edit the person the right way with all the properties and relation that are needed. Okay, I think we can go to the next slide. Yeah, and then uh, there are still some further topics relevant to us. Um, Jens mentioned already, that there is a, an increasing growing uh, community uh, around Wikibase as, as a software or, or, or yeah, the, the Wikibase um, uh, environment. And, uh, and of course, if you as an institution decide to use a software, you are always very keen on um, knowing, okay, how will this be, let's say in in 10 years or in 20 years. Um, how is, how, how uh, are you sure that when the software is, is going on um, and we are doing some of, of um, coding that the new version of Wikibase is still fitting to the coding we, we did. So governance has become quite a core topic in the debates in between the German National Library and Wikimedia. So this is uh, one of the topics were uh, within us and um, and then we we are also interested in cooperating with other libraries that use Wikibase and uh, look for exchange of that achieved knowledge and skills um, when you are working with Wikibase you learn how to use it and you're getting better and of course uh, we are very um, happy that Wikimedia and IFLA together are now planning to create um, a working group for national libraries or libraries using Wikibase so we can actually address more specific our needs and, and also share our findings. Like if we do a mapping in March 21 or even in PICA, uh, that might be of interest to other national libraries and we're happy to share our findings there. Next slide. Yeah, because we like to be, like the idea to be part of something greater. Um, that is what is moving us. We want to be part of that semantic web. And we believe that Wikibase is a very good tool in order to achieve that. Thank you. I think the next slide is only saying that. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Well, I can see there is a question by Jarmo, um, where where it would be uh, the um, the editorial platform of the the future for the GND. Um, I believe it's going to be um, in um, two platforms. There's going to be one Wikibase platform um, that where where like larger communities can add it, and then it's going to be transmitted to the to the master and approved. But 
uh, for quite some time still, um, I'm pretty sure that the librarians themselves, they rather stick to their system because it is interconnected to the catalogs and, and the other systems they use for their daily work. So it wouldn't, like at least that's the way we see it. The, the Bibliothèque Nationale de France is having a different approach. They're aiming to actually change their system and just operate in, in Wikibase. Um, so we, we'll see what, what, what happens. I mean, if, if Wikibase, let's, if, let's say we meet again in five years, it might be that uh, we then are all just working in Wikibase and no, nobody is using, um, at least for editing authority files, um, the CBS any longer, because we have found ways to synchronize directly uh, from the Wikibase instance to our catalogs, for instance. But I mean, this is the future to tell. <laughs>